Situated in Northern Europe, the Baltic Sea is a water body that holds immense historical, ecological, and geopolitical significance. The maritime basins between Sweden, Finland, and the continent of Central Europe are collectively referred to as the Baltic Sea. It is surrounded by Sweden, Denmark, Estonia, Germany, Latvia, Lithuania, Poland, Russia, and Estonia. It is an important maritime commercial hub, a rich ecological habitat, and a historically complex area. This video explores the Baltic Sea's many facets including its geography, ecology, historical significance, and contemporary geopolitical dynamics. So before we proceed, be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on the bell notification icon in order to stay connected. You can support for free by sharing our content to a wider audience and don't forget to drop your thoughts and opinion in the comments section below. Moving forward, the Kattegat and the Danish Straits connect the relatively shallow contained Baltic Sea to the Atlantic Ocean and the Skagerrak. With the Landsert Deep, the lowest point reaching a depth of roughly 459 meters, it spans an area of over 377,000 square kilometers and has an average depth of about 55 meters. The Baltic Sea is the youngest sea on Earth, having formed between 10,000 and 15,000 years ago and as the last Ice Ages glaciers receded. A wide variety of scenery, such as sandy beaches, rugged coastlines, and archipelagos, most notably the Swedish archipelago and the Åland Islands, envelop the sea. The Baltic Sea's brackish water, which is a mixture of fresh water from rivers and salt water from the North Sea, is one of its distinctive features, because only those organisms that have adapted to reduce salinity levels may survive, this provides a difficult environment for marine life. The Neva, Vistula, and Dogava are just a few of the rivers that feed the sea. These rivers also bring sediments and nutrients from the nearby landmasses, which enhance the sea's distinct ecosystem. With a catchment area four times greater than the sea, this unique ecosystem supports more than 85 million people. Because of the brackish character of the Baltic Sea, certain species have adapted to its unique salinity levels. Fish species including cod, herring, and sprat are among those found in the marine ecosystem, along with marine mammals like gray seals and harbor porpoises. The sea's coastal regions are crucial avian biodiversity sites because they serve as migrating birds' habitats. The Baltic Sea does, however, confront formidable environmental obstacles. Eutrophication, which is brought on by excessive nutrient runoff from agriculture and other human activities, is one of the most urgent problems. All the balloons result from this, which lower the water's oxygen content and produce dead zones where marine life cannot thrive. In addition, because the sea is contained, pollutants from shipping, industry, and urban runoff can accumulate in its waters, making it extremely vulnerable to pollution. The nations that border the Baltic Sea have made efforts to address these environmental challenges. The Helsinki Commission, HELCOM, which was founded in 1974, is a key player in organizing global initiatives to safeguard the Baltic Sea's marine ecosystem. HELCOM seeks to ensure the sustainable use of maritime resources, mitigate pollution, and restore habitats through programs such as the Baltic Sea Action Plan. Throughout history, the Baltic Sea has played a crucial role as a hub for trade, cross-cultural interchange, and conflict. Norse seamen utilized the Baltic as a route for exploration, trade, and conquest throughout the Viking Age, between the 8th to 11th century, building towns and trading networks along its beaches. During this time, the Baltic, Slavic, and Norse peoples exchanged products, concepts, and technologies. The Baltic commerce was dominated during the Middle Ages by the Hanseatic League, a strong economic and defense alliance of market cities and merchant guilds. Establishing connections between cities like Lübeck, Gdansk, and Tallinn, the League promoted trade throughout Northern Europe from its founding in the late 12th century. Along the Baltic coast, the Hanseatic League was instrumental in the growth of strong city-states and the region's economic development. Numerous conflicts also occurred in the Baltic Sea, especially between newly developing European nations. Sweden, Poland, Russia, and Denmark fought each other in the Northern Wars, between 1558 to 1721, in an effort to gain control of the Baltic trade routes and territory. An important turning point was the Great Northern War, from 1700 to 1721, which resulted in the fall of Swedish domination and the establishment of the Russian Empire under Peter the Great as a major Baltic power. The Baltic Sea is still a strategically significant area in modern times, especially when it comes to the security of the EU and NATO. NATO members Poland and the Baltic states of Estonia, Latvia, and Lithuania are particularly concerned about their security because of their close proximity to Russia. The geopolitical complexity is increased by the existence of a highly military Russian exclave of Kaliningrad. Politics around energy are also quite important in the area. 
There has been controversy around the building of pipelines like Nord Stream and Nord Stream 2, which deliver natural gas from Russia to Germany via the Baltic Sea. By avoiding conventional transit nations like Poland and Ukraine, these pipelines change the dynamics of energy security in Europe and give rise to worries about a growing reliance of that continent on Russian energy supplies. Given that the Baltic Sea is one of the busiest shipping channels in the world, maritime security is another crucial concern. For the nations that border the sea, protecting the safety of marine navigation, averting mishaps, and mitigating the possibility of environmental catastrophes are top priorities. Managing these difficulties requires international cooperation through institutions like the EU and the Baltic Marine Environment Protection Commission HELCOM. The many languages, customs, and historical monuments that make up the Baltic Sea region attest to its rich cultural legacy. Cities with dynamic cultural scenes that combine modernism and historical charm are Stockholm, Helsinki, and Riga. The region's cultural festivals like Kiel Week and Tallinn Music Week draw tourists from all over the world and highlight the creative talent and diversity of the local culture. Millions of people rely on the Baltic Sea for their economic livelihoods. The tourist, shipping, and fishing industries are important drivers of the regional economy. Global trade and business are facilitated by the Baltic seaports, which include those in Hamburg, St. Petersburg, and Copenhagen. These ports are among the busiest in Europe. Additionally, the area leads the way in innovation and sustainable development. Leading the way in wind generation and other renewable energy initiatives are the nation's border in the Baltic Sea. For example, Germany and Denmark have invested heavily in offshore wind farms in the Baltic Sea helping the area make the transition to a greener economy. The Baltic Sea region has numerous advantages, but it also faces a number of difficulties that call for concerted international action to overcome. Sea health is seriously threatened by environmental degradation brought on by pollution, climate change, and unsustainable fishing methods. Marine life and coastal populations are already feeling the effects of climate change, which include rising sea levels and rising temperatures. The geopolitical dynamics of the region continue to be influenced by tensions, mainly between Russia and NATO. To avoid confrontation and maintain stability, strong security measures and diplomatic initiatives are essential. In addition, in order to encourage equitable and sustainable growth, the economic differences among the Baltic Sea border and nations must be addressed. In order to overcome these obstacles, international cooperation is still essential. Through coordinated measures across member states, initiatives such as the EU Strategy for the Baltic Sea Region EUSBSR, seek to promote sustainable development, environmental protection, and economic growth. In addition, groups like the Council of the Baltic Sea States CBSS, and HELCOM are essential in promoting cooperation on security and environmental matters. The Baltic Sea is a focus point in Northern Europe because of its distinctive geographic and environmental features, rich cultural legacy, and significant economic significance. Even though the sea faces many obstacles, such as environmental deterioration and geopolitical unrest, Optimism for a resilient and successful future is provided by the neighboring country's dedication to collaboration and sustainable development. We can appreciate the Baltic Sea region's significance on the international scene and the need for coordinated efforts to preserve and maintain this essential body of water by comprehending the intricate interplay of elements that shape it. The tale of the Baltic Sea is one of resilience, connectivity, and the constant struggle to strike a balance between human activity and the environment. And that concludes this chapter. Be sure to like, subscribe, share, comment, and remember to turn on the bell notification icon in order to stay connected. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.